Hey, do you like Deltarune? Do you like Deltarune chapters 3 and 4? Do you like that really specific rhythm game part of chapters 3 and 4? Do you want to make your own songs for that rhythm game section of chapters 3 and 4? Well, today I'm going to show you how. Step 1, you need to find your Deltarune save directory. It is right here. This is where all of your files are stored. Program files, Steam, Steam Apps, Comment, Deltron. That is, if you use Steam. You can either use Chapter 3 or 4. I prefer 4 because it's a little bit better coded, to say the least. Now, simply make a copy of your data.win file. I've renamed mine OG, so I know which one it is and I don't accidentally delete it. So make a copy of it and just paste it into your main Deltarune directory. Um, and rename it. I usually like to prefix mine with 4, so I know it's this is the chapter 4 data.win file. And let's call it editor. I'm going to open this file now in Undertale Mod Tool. I'm using the latest version, 8.2. I got a link to download Undertale Mod Tool in the description, so go down there and download that, whatever the most recent version is. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is enable debug mode. So I'm going to type in debug, open up the code section here, and go to script debug. Now I'm just going to quickly add in the line here global.debug equals one and click out of that. This will enable debug mode and all the great stuff that debug mode does. Now also you're going to have to go up here and go to scripts under tell delta and scripts and go to go to room.csx. Click that, it will load. That'll simply just make it so you can press F3 to quickly teleport to any room in the game. That's super useful. Now we need to go to a script called rhythm game underscore tools right in here. Uh, now, this has a bunch of tools for the rhythm game thing. However, for some reason, Toby deleted one of these um, before he actually released the game. So I'm just gonna paste it back in. It's this script called GML STD string split. Um, I will put this code here in the description, just paste this in. Um, I also recommend if you're looking at it, why in the world I have this here. This is just, I would recommend whenever you mod the game, uh, always type the name of your mod or your name or something somewhere in the code that you're changing so you know, so you can easily find it again if you forget. This is a tutorial so you can skip out on this line if you don't want, because uh, you can just rewatch the tutorial and you'll know what it is. Finally, instead of rhythm game tools, we're going to go to rhythm game song uh, underscore load. Here it is. Here we need to pick a song that we're going to be editing, and we need to essentially replace the music here. One of the easier ones to do is um, number 10, uh, Knockdown. This one is probably one of the best ones to edit, uh, but you can pick any. Yeah, we have to pick a song here. So I'm going to just type in AAA, AAA here so we can grab just and put any song there rename it AAA. Let's go and actually give it a song. So to get a song you simply just dump it into the MUS folder. Here we are, I already have one. Okay so let's just grab a random song. We could copy one in Deltron or well, let's just grab one from Undertale here. Um, which one should we grab? Let's just go down here and grab Megalovania. And back over to Deltron we go. Let's just paste this in and rename it aaa.ogg. Spectacular. Now we have aaa.ogg. If I play it, it plays Megalovania. What other parameters do we need? We need a BPM of the song, which it's Megalovania, and I happen to know that Megalovania's BPM is 120. But in case you don't know the BPM, you could look it up, of course. There's also a great website called taptempo.io. Note spacing is how far apart the notes are. This is going to be 60 divided by your BPM. Meter is going to be the note spacing times 4, if you want quarter notes, that is. Um, yeah, this is essentially how long a note is. This is how big a measure is. Track start is um, how early the track actually begins. If you pick zero, it'll begin exactly where your music file begins, which you probably don't want because you it the thing begins on a fade in from black, so you don't want the notes to immediately start coming the moment your track begins. So you usually want to offset it. The math here works out to this many measures offset. So simply just set this number there to the amount of measures you want to be different. So if you want to be two measures of 
silence before you begin, set it to two. If you want it to skip two measures into the song, uh, set this to positive two. I'll keep it at negative two because starting two measures early is uh, good. One at a time, just leave that as true. Track length is going to be how long your track is in seconds. I'm gonna open this in Audacity. Audacity is a free software. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. If I zoom out here, click at the end of the track, you can see our selection is two minutes, 36 seconds, 0 0.011 milliseconds. That's great, but it's still in minutes. So let's quickly do two minutes times 60 seconds in a minute plus 36.011 seconds. That gives us 183.011 seconds. Go ahead and paste that into our track length. And then finally the note speed, this is how fast the notes come down. 120 is, is fine, you don't need to change that. We uh, have changed everything we need to, so let's save this. Uh, remember, we're in the main Deltron directory, so don't save in the chapter 4.1, this one. Make sure you're selecting the correct data.win. And Yes, we do want to replace it. All right, now we can close out of Undertale Mod Tool and we can run the game here and select our editor. As you see, when you run it, you'll just get a black screen because the game doesn't expect you to run a chapters data.win in the main directory. So um, it, you won't get a menu or anything. However, you can still press F3 to open up the go to room dialog. This is why we enabled this earlier. In chapter three, the room you want to go to is 128. If you're in chapter four, the room you want to go to is 265. We're in chapter four, so it's 265. Press OK, and boom, we are now in the editor room. Knock You Down is right here, so we will pick that one. As you can see, Megalovania is playing, so that's great. You may notice the giant control list on the side. You can click in here to add notes. You can right mouse button to remove them. Uh, you can click or hold. Uh, notes can stack on top of each other if you click more than once. So be careful that you don't have stack notes on top of each other. You can hold shift to drag out a note. Uh, you can hold down alt to snap the grid to thirds. You can use space to play and pause the song or P. Um, you can use minus and plus to zoom in and out, or zero to snap it back to being equal. You can use T to refresh the notes. Say you you put down a bunch of notes, then played the song and they got played away, then you can press T and the notes will come back. Use this sidebar to scroll back in time so you can see the older notes. Uh, and then you can press yeah, T to bring them back. You can use V and B to deal with the playback start. So this arrow, um, oh, there is no playback start, but uh, if I go into the song somewhere, I can press V to set a start point in the song. And whenever I press space to play, it will always set me back to the start of the playback every time instead of uh, pausing where I was. And you can press B to toggle that behavior if you want it to go back to just pausing it wherever. You also use N to just warp back to the playback start play. Q toggles autoplay. Autoplay is on by default. That's like, you know, Chris will automatically play the notes for you. Um, however, if you don't want that, you can press Q and Chris will not play the notes and it let you play them instead. Um, you can also use U and I to save and load. So if I press um, U, you will ask, do you want to save this track? I'll say, yes, I do want to save it. And we'll say the set track has been saved. This will not actually affect anything in game. This will just create a f save file in your save directory. I'll get to that later. And then you can use I to load it. Um, if you did a manual save like I just did, you can use one to load the manual save. Boom, it will load in your, your stuff. I didn't change anything, so nothing loaded, but that works. You can also use tab to hide that menu, so excellent. W and E will disable or enable the alternate track that plays when you actually hit or don't hit the notes. Uh, since I made it exactly the same, that won't actually change anything. Additionally, one other thing you can do is when you're actually playing, um, the, the, uh, when you're actually playing, it will record where you actually clicked and show you these little indicators so that could help you uh, time out your song like that. And to get rid of those, you do backspace. Uh, there are also some hidden controls. You can use up and down to just scroll forward and backward. You can also use uh, copy and paste. Uh, so control C, 
uh, will copy whatever measure you're in. So this measure between one and two, control C will copy it. If I go up up here and I press control V, it will paste the stuff into the measure. And then I can also do control Z to undo each individual ad. It will not delete notes, so keep that in mind. And if you paste more than once into a measure, it will overlap notes. So also keep that in mind. Yeah, there's a bunch of garbage stuff in here. I don't want this. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna save the file, press yes, we want that, and then go back here um, and go to our save directory. This is my save directory. Just type this, but change this for your computer's name. Just go to your local app data, find Deltarune, it'll be here. Uh, now below all your regular save files, you'll see um, a bunch of music timing files. Uh, you only have two because you only did one song, but if you edit other songs, they'll also appear here. Uh, we did knock you down, so it creates two files. One is the TXT file and one is the export file. You want the TXT file. Here is your save, essentially. This is the thing that it saved. Um, here we just control A, delete, and then save our file. Um, so now if we go back into the game and we press I to load and we say um, one for manual load. Sometimes it can be a bit finicky loading uh, the save, so you might need to press uh, F3, type in the number again, click OK, reselect the song, and then it will have loaded properly. If it still doesn't work, then you can just restart the whole game, like Alt F4 out, and then reload in, and then it will definitely have loaded your file correctly. Uh, so yeah, now it is completely empty, beautiful. Now I can start, you know, typing in my Megalovania notes and whatnot. Uh, I'll say I want them like that. You might have also noticed these yellow shiny notes. These are the alternate animation notes. As you can see when I play these notes, Chris will go up. Ah, the animation here is a little bit scuffed, um, but yeah. Essentially, when these notes here with the yellow are played, Chris goes up with the guitar and does like a big fancy note. I can't figure out how you make the um, the special notes where Chris puts the guitar over their head. It is possible to edit that later if you know which notes they are. Just keep track of which note it is or what time the note appears, um, which is, you know, these numbers over here. So let's just fill this up so we know very obviously this is where our song begins. Here's our beautiful song. Now let's save the song with you. Yes, we want to save changes go back to our save data and find the song that we want. So right over here, knock you down. Here is our beautiful song that we have made. Now, if we want one of these notes to be a special note, um, all you have to do is add a comma one after it. And it, that will make it a special. Uh, also keep in mind, if you see any duplicate notes, that means you just put two notes on the exact same spot. Make it do a quick look through your actual save file check for duplicates delete those we'll go ahead and reload that because remember this is our save file so we're not actually done yet i made some changes now if i open that up back in the editor you can see that the notes i selected now have the little yellow dot next to them to imply that they are now special notes um and i have also unstacked the notes that i had that were stacked so now our song is ready for exporting so uh, you simply just save again, just press save after you've verified that everything's good and you have loaded the song in from your save, resave the song. Now, if I go back to my save data and we check this export.txt instead, you will see a bunch of uh, script rhythm game add note lines. These are essentially the bits from before, but in inside these functions. So now we simply control A, control C, copy those, and now it's time to actually port them into the game. Let's go back to our normal Delta and save directory, open up chapter four, or whichever chapter you picked. Then we're again going to want to make a copy of our data.win, and we're going to want to edit this. All right, here we go. So now, again, I'm going to go ahead and enable debug mode and stuff again. You don't have to do this. If you're making a mod that you want to, you know, release or something, you don't want to have debug mode enabled, but 
I want debug mode enabled. Now it's time to actually put the song into the file. So again, we need to go to song load again and put this in exactly the same as you did it last time. All right, boom. The only thing you'd probably want to change here is you might want to give an alternate song for when you're actually playing it versus missing, or you can you know just have nothing there. We don't need to add in the string splitting code because that was just part of the editor. And finally, to put the chart in. So that's simply the function called chart uh, rhythm game note chart. So here we want to find uh, there are multiple parts. So if you want to do Chris's part you're gonna be looking for the lead uh, down here. This, this is the Chris parts. You can also import Susie parts and Noel parts. Those are the drums and vocals respectively. Um, yeah, you just edit those uh, the same way as the other one. You just pick the song and then go left or right to pick um, Susie or Rousey. All right, here it is, line 3,352, that is our um, argument 10 and 10 was the knock you down song so this is the one we're using we don't want all this data that's already here so let's get rid of this and delete boom now that's empty now we can paste in what we made before so these right here this is our beautiful song that we have again if you want to you can do one final look over it to double check there's no duplicates you have all of the uh, bonus notes set that you want to, nothing looks odd, uh, and once you have that, that's all, you're all good. You just um, click out, click save, and make sure to go into chapter 4 and select this data.win file and save it. Before you actually begin, there still is a bug in Deltarune where you cannot run uh, these uh, files here with the original Deltarune.exe they will break and not have access to the right files. So simply just rename this to, um, rename this to just data.win so that it will automatically open when you run the main game. And you just say play chapter four, then it will automatically load your data.win correctly. Uh, and that should be all good. Now you just go to the file select, load yourself into the TV building or wherever. Knock Me Down is this one here. So we can just play this song. And three, two, one. There's two measures of build up. And there you go, there's the, the songs. And you can see the ones that are special. Chris went up and did the special animation. So that is how you create your own Deltrin Chapter 3 and 4 songs. Uh, I'd like to know what you guys make. If you make any good mods, send them to me. I'd love to play them. Uh, or if you have any other tips and tricks on how to make good songs uh, or use the editor, put them in the description below and I'll um, add any revisions or changes to a pinned comment. So make sure to read that if it's there. Other than that, I'm Jack from Paper Games Productions. You should subscribe. I also have a Discord server if you want to join that. We talk about Deltrune and stuff. Other than that, see you later. Have a great day.